right, sir, we're going to draw a front end loader. Yeah, it's a construction truck. Good mm -hmm. job, dude. Are you ready to draw? Yeah. You got your marker? Mm -hmm. we, <laughs> we hope you have a marker and some paper and you're gonna follow along with us. If we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Pause the video. <laughs> <laughs> First, we're gonna draw the ground for our truck to sit on. So we're gonna draw a horizontal line that starts on the left side, comes all the way over to the right. I'll give you a point. We just start there, come all the way over to there. Yes, good. Now we're gonna draw the wheels and the back wheel is bigger than the front wheel. So we're gonna draw over here, we're gonna draw a big wheel and we wanna make sure it's touching the ground. And then we're gonna draw a smaller wheel over here. Oh, I drew them kind of the same size. That's okay. <laughs> good job, touch the ground. Nice, I like your wheel. And then we're gonna draw another one right, up, right about here. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw two more circles inside of these two circles. So here we go, we're gonna draw another one over here. And then we're gonna draw a smaller one inside, like that. Good job. And then another one inside. Little one. And then we're gonna do repeat that same thing over here. Okay, now we're ready to draw the rest of the truck. Okay, we're gonna draw a line that connects first. So we're gonna draw it right here in the middle. We're gonna go across like that. Good, now we're gonna draw another one that comes right up the middle. And then we're gonna come over to the wheel. And then if it's above the wheel, we can connect it down. Good, now let's draw the part where the person sits to drive. We're gonna draw a line that comes out first. Then we're gonna draw a straight line up and we're gonna draw, we could draw it really tall. There you go. And we're gonna draw another line over and down. See how it's right about in the middle of the first box we drew. Look like rectangles, don't they? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's draw a line coming out of the back wheel, short line. Then we can draw an L, watch, down and over. It looks like the letter L. So we're gonna draw a rectangle. This is for the back bumper. Good, now let's draw an upside down L to connect a bunch of boxes. Don't we, we have a lot of boxes. Okay, now let's draw the back of our truck. We're gonna draw a line down over and then down into the bumper. Oh, it's looking so cool. Good, all right, now let's draw the front of our truck. We're gonna draw a line that comes over and connects to the wheel. Yes, and then we're gonna draw another line straight down. Okay, now we're gonna draw that bucket or the thing that picks up all the dirt. Up here, we're gonna draw a big U shape. Oh, look how big that is. So we're gonna draw it right about here. We can draw a big sideways U. Yeah, good job. All right, now up here, we're gonna draw a line that comes across and connects the top. Then it's got little teeth on the front. So let's draw an upside down V or an A shape. And that's the part that digs into the ground and gets the dirt. Now let's draw the arm that's connecting it to the truck. So we draw one little line down. Then we're gonna draw another line that comes across. Then we can draw a little line that comes down. Oh, you're getting really close. You can actually just connect it into the wheel if you want. And then I'm gonna connect it into the wheel. Also, I'm gonna draw another line that comes that way. All right, now let's draw the other side of the arm. So we're gonna draw a line that follows this line. So we're gonna follow it across. So we'll start right here and we'll follow it down to there. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw another line down and I'm just gonna connect it right into the truck. Okay, now we're pretty much done with our truck, except we need to draw a few more details, a lot more details. A window. Yeah, we need to draw windows, a roof, and also the exhaust sticking out. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's draw the windows first. Let's draw right here. We're gonna draw a big, tall L. And we're gonna connect. Yes, we are. We're gonna draw an upside down L to connect. There's the window. Now let's draw the roof. I'm gonna draw another L, look how long this one is. It goes all the way across the top. 
It's short, but then the bottom part's long. And then I'm gonna draw an upside down L to connect the top. Cool. Now let's draw the exhaust sticking out the back. We're gonna draw two lines coming out. Then let's curve, let's add two more curved lines at the top to curve the exhaust. Yeah, almost looks like a candy cane. Mm -hmm. And then we'll connect the very top, two lines. And there's our exhaust, that's where the smoke comes out. And if we want, we could add little popcorn shapes coming out the exhaust for the smoke. And I drew a small one and a big one. Good job, that looks awesome. Now over here, I'm gonna add some dirt in the bucket. So I'm gonna add a bumpy line like this to add the dirt. And then inside we could also draw a couple circles for the rocks. Now they use these big hydraulics to make the bucket go up and down. So I'm gonna draw two lines connecting right here at the very end. Yeah, and you can connect them down to the tire. And then right here, I'm gonna draw another line that goes across, right in the middle. Perfect. Now these things are usually really big, and so they have a ladder so that you can get in it. So let's draw two lines down the side, right by the window, yeah, right there. And then let's draw horizontal lines going across for the ladder. You did it, that's a really cool ladder, dude. All right, now, right back here, we could also add, I'm gonna draw two lines going across for a stripe. Then let's also add some vents for the side where the motor or the engine is. So I'm gonna draw Watch this, it kind of looks like the ladder, except it doesn't have the lines going down the side. You can add four lines right on the back. Cold air can come in that way to keep the engine cool. Perfect, all right, dude, we did it. Did you have fun? Yeah. All right, now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our trucks. They're gonna look so much better. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. Ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, you did it. You finished coloring your front end loader and it looks awesome. I love the dirt up in the bucket. It looks really cool. Now, I also added a few more details to my truck. I added some bolts and some hinges and also some cool extra details also around the door. Now, you guys can pause the video right now to match the same color. You can also add more details and add a background. We hope you all have fun drawing your trucks with us. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And it's okay if their drawings look different than ours, right? Yeah. Because what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to practice. Practice. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.